Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the main to episode 10 of season 3 of Layback Camp. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> oh, kitty. Oh, another one. And another one. Oh, my God, they're everywhere. <laughs> Hello. Uh oh. Same. I haven't thought about that, huh? Oh, <laughs> me and Cody. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Oh, 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 too much, too much. It's okay. Finally, oh my God. Yeah, because he's comfortable. Oh, she has like two down here. That's pretty.
so then you make one. No, you make one. Yeah. You don't know unless you ask. Ain't that a coincidence? Any of them would be like instant wallpaper.
<laughs> your sister's right. Because you guys have, you've all been doing your solo-ish. You need to meet up. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Didn't think that'd be used for flossing, but I learned something new today. And ta-da! Well, yeah, you should have had it. I wish you could have got some, um, Pasta sauce. Kimmy. Mm-hmm. 
Bye, Kitty. And you just go in the episode. <laughs> okay, one, I love the fact that we got to see Aki doing her own solo camp camping. That was cute because I, I feel bad for her sometimes because, like, okay, she always has a good time regardless, but she always gets, like, the short end of the stick in this situation. So I'm glad that she got some good stuff. <laughs> some good ish at the end of the day. Proud of her. Honestly, the kit, the kitten. I thought the kitten was straight. I was like, yeah, you look a little very clean. But like, did you just recently run away from home? It's like how I j before I recorded, I watched this um random video on TikTok and it was like POV, like you're walking across the street, um, and you see this stray dog, and so this girl goes up to the dog gets it, takes it to the, you know, like, the closest veterinarian place and stuff and tries to find out, like, if the dog is microchipped because, of course, like, they say that's always the best way to find someone's pets or you put, like, an Amber Alert out. Oh, well, yeah, the good happy ending, though, is the dog got to go home with its owner. That was the good thing. But, like, hey, you never know. You get the, you know, the cat distribution center. You get the, the dog distribution. You get the bunny, the hamster, the whatever. And you be like, oh, my God, it's my time. And it was Aki's time, even though the cat <laughs> went back home. <laughs> oh, she's so pretty. Also, I am glad that we finally got to see those two girls. Because it, my thing was, I was like, look, we're very close to the... Me. We're very close to the end of this show. I think we only have at least a, mm, three or four more episodes before we're done. And so it was like, if they want to show these two, they gotta really show them very quickly. So I'm glad that, you know, Emma and her friend finally got to have, you know, a presentation in this episode. Just it, even if it was a little moment. And to just hear them talk and, like, conversations, such like that. And the fact that, you know, Emma is really a, you know, she likes to draw and illustrate. It's really sweet. So, I, I mean, I would like to, you know, potentially maybe see a spinoff on her and her friend to see what they would go to. Because she seems like a very interesting character. I, I love when shows, like, when there is, like, a fan favorite, someone that everyone likes. It's like, um... What the heck was her name from Kaguya Sama? Um... Oh my god, I don't remember her name, but she's like my best girl, besides um Kaguya and um I. It, it's the girl who, who joins the uh, the student council, the new one. Um, her. She she's super adorable. And so when everybody was like, Oh my god, y'all, like don't be get get ready for this season, like best best girl is coming in. And so when I found out, you know, about the character and such, I already knew like a couple of things, like her saying who she was voice by because she was in something that I am hugely in love with still to this day and such. And so to see her, her say you technically grow and to do other roles, like I was truly really excited. And so when I got to finally see why she was best girl, I was like, yeah, I can see why you guys all like her and such and why she's like the fan favorite and such. And so I, I really wish with like, when there are characters that are fan favorite and that you want to see more of them, like, I don't care. Give me a dang little spinoff. It ain't gotta be like three. It ain't gotta be 12 episodes. Give me four episodes. Actually, you know what? Check that. 
<laughs> Give me more than four because four goes by quickly. Mind you. Because when when this series had the room camp, I think that was only like that that was twelve episodes, but like fifteen minutes. That was the shortest of the shorts. And I was like Every single week, I was always wanting more. And, and that's why, like, there was a point in time when I was watching that show where I was thinking about, like, literally waiting until the final episode of it to put a whole compilation video, and it would have just been all in one take. But, no, I think I liked the fact that I did, like, the 15-minute video of it each week. But it was sweet and short. But I still wanted more, and I still want more and such. Even though these girls are about to go to college soon and stuff, and we're getting closer and closer to their movie counterparts and such. Um, it would still be nice. I'm just saying. It's up to you. Regardless. Other than that, guys, that's my reaction view towards episode 10 of season 3 of Laid Back Camp. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Enjoy the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next I'm about to say Wednesday. <laughs> Thursday for episode 11 but until then I will see you guys all next time bye